Frostbite 2023. Can't wait. Oh my god. <laughs> Calm down, wench. It's not <laughs> happening. <laughs> yes, but I know exactly what to say to trigger you. <laughs> oh my god. All right. So I think the players are finally set. I'm trying yeah. to figure out. Somebody must have been having some uh, controller issues. I mean, like, when you have so many controller options, some issues are bound to happen. Yeah. But it's better because you can you have infinite controller options, basically. Like, if you can get a converter, something to run on Windows, etc., you're good to go. Can you actually have two uh, keyboard players play against each other in Rivals? I don't see why not. I'm sure you could. Okay. Because I know, like, with multiverses, you can't have two keyboard players right now. I wouldn't be surprised because of multiverses is a lot. It's... Is it technically still considered beta or not? I'm not. I guess it's not anymore, technically, but it's such an early game. Like, so many of the things are always changing and improving, like, in a very positive way, where Rivals has been out for God knows how many years. We just had that discussion. Yeah, I don't think I've. I've yet to touch multiverses. I'm sure it could, and if not, you could route the second keyboard through, like, a different config program in Windows to, like, make it show up as an Xbox controller, probably. Mm, that's something that. Somebody who's probably got a computer science degree knows how to do. Yeah. Not me. Definitely. I mean, especially because, like, it's built in Game Maker, and since that's been out for so long, there's endless resources for people to, like, do things like that and find out how to do dual okay. keyboards and stuff. Well, there's actually a pretty sizable crowd watching Rivals. Yeah, there is. That's cool. Just a little bit more. We'll have these controls figured out. I love how you can just do, like, button checks and, like, testing your controls right in the game like this. Oh, yeah. I think it, this is how you know that Rivals was made as a huge passion project yes. by somebody who loves platform fighters because yep. they're like, what quality of life things did I wish exist in every other platform fighter? That's one of them. Yeah. And from a smart person too, because I feel like the average person would not think to implement it like that. And yet it's, that's like by far the most seamless you could make it. Yeah. All right, where are we going? Forest floor? Getting our rules correct, turning on your tourney mode. More quality of life. That's true. Yeah. Oh, we're not. Oh, they didn't choose stage. Got tons of stages, all tournament legal with your hazards on and off mode. Oh, that's right. You can do you do the. If they did it before. It was cool. They did this before. Uh, Smash Bar. No, the no. The ultimate. Stage striking? Oh, I thought you were going to say. It I was the, like, uh, did they do this before? Uh, stage striking has been in for a very long time. No, no. no. Did they do it before uh, P? Plus? That I'm not sure. Cause I don't remember what patch like P plus add that into. I, that was cool. I, I enjoyed that. All right, but here we yeah, go. Yes. I love this stage actually. It's I, probably my favorite stage. Yeah. yeah. Or but best but not the favorite. <laughs> Smash. It's the uh, the Smashville like. Yeah. And here we go. Sketch is going with the palm. Yep. Uh, this is like, this is one of those matches that I'm excited to see because these are two players that. Like, I don't know how often, I think Skarmory does play a little bit of uh, Rivals more than Sketch, because Sketch uh -huh. is primarily a Weepit trainer from the Macomb area Got for it. Smash Ultimate. Yes. So it, I like when you see these like kind of like relatively unknown players try, uh, dabbling with Rivals a little bit. Yep. So yeah. Sketch with Palm, you're going to see Sketch lay out those like music note fields, which is going to give like kind of certain different buffs. I forget exactly what they are, and like the different kind of like moves or like things you have. We're gonna see how Sketch can kind of control the zone like that, while Skarmory is gonna be trying to get in like up and close with like your physical attacks, your shine moves, with like your projectiles. It's like imagine if you just threw together like everything good about melee characters all in <laughs> one like insane line. That what the, when you're on fire, you also are debuffed as well. So it's like yeah. insane character. Oh man, I forget how hard Zerver hits. Yeah. Sometimes. So if I'm not mistaken, that debuff is you take more knockback. So when you're on fire and you get hit by that forward smash. Oh, they're fighting off stage and right Ooh. there actually gets clipped out of his jump. Yep. And Zetterburn for Skarmory takes game number one. Still though, there was signs of life for both people there. Just a little yep. bit of like, it happens sometimes off stage, especially when it's like you're not used to the game as much. It's still an early round. Uh, you get hit there, you're in hit stun. Oh, there's no ledge. How do you get back? Whatever. It's adjustments that can happen though throughout the entire phase we of the game five. A, we're seeing a character swap over to Crag already. Now this, I think, for players who are coming from not a rivals background, I yeah. think characters like Claren, like Crag, offer a little bit more comfort into kind of like how to 
get into playing rivals a little bit just because they're very like they're kind of like very basic characters that have a yes. very kind of like streamlined game plan mm -hmm. and i think crag is one of those characters because he's so heavy and he just throws rocks yes. you're just like yep all right i can do this it's actually like compared like as you said like, like with palm though being not just dlc but like new new dlc where i feel like even at the base cast like crag is probably the most basic character i don't mean that in a, in a bad way it's that like you can rely more on your fundamentals. You're learning from other platform fighters. Yeah. Maybe you're not as like used to the, like, the buttons right now. Craig, he just lives and he hits. Yeah, and Craig is one of those player, like one of those characters that really can frustrate people. Oh my god! I people have uh, most people who uh, who are familiar with like Michigan Rivals, Scooter 388, one of the better yeah. uh, Craig players out there. Um, he makes, and I'll be in Discord calls with him. He just makes, he's making people rage all the time. When that he's sounds Craig, so cool. Just throwing rocks and just, ooh. ooh, it's so cool. Greg was my main before Shovel Knight came out. I love this character so much. The fact that you can create that platform wall, like the off stage to recover, so cool. exactly. But I also like how you can use it as like. Think of like how Steve kind of blocks ledges yeah. in, in Ultimate. Imagine if you create a gigantic wall though. <laughs> yeah. But you can also wall jump and stuff off. It's like it. it's like most people think when you're able to build platforms in a platform fighter, man, yes. your character is low key pretty good at some base level. Yep. Craig did it before. It was cool. Wait, I guess Steve's not really cool though. He's Craig cool did it before. It's he's lame. cool to watch. I agree, and not Gosh. many people agree with that. <laughs> anyway, we gotta get back here. Uh, right now, Sketch definitely this switch over to Craig has really proved to be working yes. out, out a lot better. I think I'm not too sure about like how matchups like work. But I think because of how heavy Crag is, I think it really can uh, assist in kind of like living against uh, Zetterburn a little bit more. I feel like archetype wise, I could definitely see this being a matchup that goes towards Zetterburn, but like not until like much higher level of play, like no offense to these players or anything like that. But also the fact that when you look at how Skarmory is playing the game, dashing in, dashing out, trying to do like those physical moves, it's like you're open to kind of start those combos where you have so much different options of super armor with Craig, especially with that side B, like the Sonic Spin Dash looking move. Yeah. That's going to be able to rip through that. And as long as Skarmory doesn't catch onto that and parry it, like oh. they have a couple times, you get to get the free opening. But that match went much better than game one. Definitely. I think the switch over to Craig, 100% the play. Yeah. Started to see him come alive. He definitely, you could tell like uh, the sense of neutral was 100% there. I thought for a second my mind told me that we had a Craig ditto, but it was just Craig oh. resucking Craig. <laughs> Bandit rock wall and treetop. Where are we going to go to? A lot of different stage options, and the blast zones are incredibly different across them. I think aesthetically this is one of the cooler stages, too. It's also one of the first stages as well. Yeah, this is a very, very much, like, this is such an original stage. Yep, it's been in since the alpha, if I'm not mistaken. Look at that, right off the bat, Craig. Right. Sketch coming alive here in the opening contest here. Yep. Game number three. Is, is his winner's bracket live? Life is on the line here. Sketch got the neutral opening there and then kept Skarmory off stage for now 70%. And it's still kind of keeping center stage really, really well here. Yep. But when Skarmory is able to find these openings, he really is so good at getting like conversions off of the nair, landing and finding like an up air mm -hmm. to kind of like get like a follow-up. Go, oh, but, oh, he's... He's, yep. Good job. Oh, yeah, doing just what you're supposed to do. Up B, yep. jump off the stage, get that wall, yep. get the wall jump, recover once again. That's one of the biggest things that I think a lot of players who are coming from a Smash background <laughs> don't really quite understand. Yes. Myself included. There's times <laughs> where I forget that I'm able to up B, jump up B. Yes. It is uh, a lot harder than it looks to like remember until you're like super, super in tune with the game. But even before that, using Smash knowledge, the fact that Sketch even started that edge guarding uh, on like the first edge guard part of it, yeah. red that Skarmory was going high, attack backwards like with the with the back air there, yeah. uh, hitting off. It's just like that down tilt though to get the second recovery after the wall jump was just slightly misspaced, and it's so hard to get that in the game without ledges. Get that rock. I throw it down. Oh, just barely whiffs the edge guard. But mix it up that time. Instead of down tilt, it was a down air, which honestly is a lot safer and would like guaranteed kill. Yeah. Oh, try to get that forward there. That's really how uh, Sketch has been looking like he's trying to end this stock here. Just get a quick little forward air. Yeah. All right, gonna get the recovery. Wow. Air into, Ooh. oh, tried to read the up, tried to read a jump with the up air. Mm -hmm. Throwing rocks. Oh, 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 with the double hit off stage. That's oh, wait, that's it. gone, that's gone, yeah. 151%. You know what?
Craig, he's probably got at least another 15, 20% on this stock. Yeah. And uh, at least. when you're fighting a spacey as care, oh, that's it. Yeah. That's going to be it. Once the fire is on you too, especially. Yeah. I like how Skarmie's being a little bit more mobile now. Like, yeah, sure, like Sketch may have more of like the middle stage there. The fact that Skarmie's just winning laps around him, though, no problem. Yeah. I like that. That bear trying to get a read off of it. Yep. Little jab into a down tilt. All right. Oh, okay. I like the projectile used right there in the middle of the combo, but here we go with another recovery. Oh, try to go out for the edge guard, but just misses it. Oh, gets the spike yeah, with authority. Sends him down. There's no recovery from that, too. Yep, this is the closest we've had in this entire series yet. Let's see if Sketch can get just a couple more openings in order to potentially close out this stock and get themselves on the board. Oh, that was a good conversion. Though. That was, that was such a like that was such yeah. a strong and fresh up smash. 